ultimately we want to live a we want to live a meaningful good life so can can atheists these come together in the pursuit of a good life and sometimes atheists might also be very understanding with each other and they might care for each other and they might be able to live well they might, yes so there's a question that can atheists be good people and there's a different question can atheism make people good the two different questions hmm? so athe can atheists be good people definitely there can be because ultimately our world view or specifically our you could use the uh, uh, yeah our belief system our world view that is only one part of who we are hmm? so the bhagavad gita explains that there are three modes of material nature sattva rajas tamas goodness passion and ignorance and broadly speaking what, what does it mean that some people make things happen some people watch things happen and some people wonder what happened <laughs> <laughs> so that is goodness passion and ignorance these are thoughtful people they think they plan no not these people in goodness they are thoughtful people they think and make things happen uh, those are in passion they just run around doing this doing this doing that and they don't think, think or plan they do one thing but another thing goes wrong another this happened and they just make a mess of things and people are ignorant just lost in their own heads you know, maybe drunk or and, and, uh, and basically they are just not even aware what is happening around them so now this division of human psychology the bhagavad gita gives it independent of one spiritual orientation so you could have a theist who is in ignorance that means somebody is a, some, some claims to believe in god but they are violent they intolerant they are irrational and you can have a the atheist who may be in goodness and they might be very calm very reasonable uh, very sensitive very nature loving so this <clears throat> we could talk about two two terms over here there are operational values and there are foundational values so operational values means how we live in the world foundational values means what is it that we ultimately believe about the world what what is the foundation of our life so one one example to understand this could be that say that if somebody is driving a car so operational value means how well do they drive the car foundational value means where are they going by driving so if somebody is lost about where they are going i mean they driving very smoothly following all the rules taking excellent care of the car not not troubling the other drivers by by hey why driving they driving very well so in terms of the perspective on the road you see this person is very good driver and that person is a terrible driver so somebody might be a very poor driver but they might be driving to the right destination now of course whether they will get there or not that's a different question they're driving poorly they might cause a wreck so like so all of us we have functional or op functional op operational values and we have foundational or fundamental values so in terms of functional values all of us fall somewhere in the spectrum of the three modes goodness passion ignorance so to the extent people come to goodness there can be reasonable discussion and there can be also uh, respectful disagreement as if we can agree to disagree i was at a interfaith conference in washington dc recently and there was a muslim over there so he was telling me that that you know i can communicate better with moderates from other traditions than with extremists from my own tradition so extremist means those who are in passion or ignorance so they are intolerant they just even moderate although you might have one particular category these are all these are hindus or these are muslims or these are christians or even these are atheists but that is sometimes theism or religion is such a big category that it can be very unhelpful Now, within religion you can have the amish people who you know, there, there was a movie about called amish grace where 
the there was some issue serial killer who rushed into uh, Amish school and killed any of the children and the Amish chose to forgive him and he killed himself they went not only they forgave they forgave him but they went off and offered their support and assistance to his widow and his children so now they are also religious and we can have we can have jihadis who not only kill innocent children but they use children to kill children many of these terrorists were indoctrinated they might be 16 17 15 and they use them to kill others so the religion is such a big category you know oh, what do you mean by religion i may say by religion i am talking about the amish and somebody else might be talking about the jihadis so you're not talking about the same thing at all that's why we have to look at what are the functional values from the functional perspective in the world when we are living the functional values are very important and in that sense a uh, atheist might live more harmoniously if the atheist is in goodness and the theist might live less harmoniously more disharmoniously the theist is in passion or ignorance so to the extent our consciousness arises rises upwards we become more thoughtful more reflective the, to the extent we come to goodness we all can live uh, with our differences more harmoniously and so so can atheists be good people definitely but can atheism make people good i'll talk about this more in the last e m o r e e is going to have there but atheism itself does not contain any imperative for inner transformation so if theism is understood properly if i understand that i am accountable to god and each of my actions i'll be responsible for them then there is a impetus for inner transformation so atheists can be good people and theists can be bad people that's possible but if we can if instead of comparing good atheists with bad, uh, bad theists we compare bad atheists with bad atheists and we compare good good theists with good atheists then the impetus for transformation is more in uh, if we have a theistic world view the impetus and the capability the resources also i'll come to that later but yes irrespective of our world views if we come more to goodness then we can all live more harmoniously okay